I just graduated from Lakeview. Um, well, a little bit about that. Growing up, my parents instilled um, pretty good morals in me. And so um, I, I love St. Angelo. It's, it feels close knit. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do when I went off to college. Um, there were a couple other universities I had in mind, but uh, St. Angelo's home. So it was a no brainer for me, really. And so I chose Angelo State because it's small. Uh, it's like a big old family. That's how I felt. Um, everybody had their hands out and were welcoming. And so I did that. Uh, just the environment here too at, at ASU, it's, it's, it's a blast. And so I was excited. Of course, I struggled. I think most students do. But I mean, um, I would always go visit my professors during their office hours or even early on, I would go to the math lab and they would assist as well. So I would always go out and look for some help. Um, but when the professors would teach and stuff, they made it a lot easier. Uh, I feel like they made it pretty simple. They made it relatable, I think, is the experience. And so that's what I liked because I could relate to it and put it in my terms and, and how to figure it out. So, uh, I had Professor McGahey. She was my main finance teacher. Um, and so I took all my finance courses with her. And again, she made it simple. We had these simple formulas and we just plugged and played really. And another one that comes to mind is uh, Dr. Hussein. He's economics. And so I uh, built that relationship with him during economics in, in my graduate level courses. And so again, he made it relatable. Uh, it's funny because even to this day, I still see him. We play tennis together, so it's, it's cool. See, I wasn't, I wasn't part of any of the fraternities, but um, I did work here at ASU as a student assistant over at the admissions office. And so um, I would always go to the UC and they would always be doing something such as uh, giving out foods or uh, I think it was on Thursdays when they would do the root beer floats. And so we would always enjoy doing that. Uh, but I, again, I didn't do much, but when I would come to the library, I would make new friends and we would all get along. So. That last semester, I had to contemplate whether to go for my master's or not. And so I really buckled down and thought about it, talked with my parents a little bit. And um, they said, go for it, might as well. You're there, you're still young. Um, I'm still working here at ASU as a student assistant. So they were able to work with my schedule. So everything was flexible. So I went ahead and did it. Uh, graduated with my master's in a year. So it was, it was, it was, it was hard work, but I enjoyed it. It was, it was pretty tough trying to get into, to, into a career just because I didn't have, I guess, the job experience that uh, companies were looking for. And so once I got my foot in the door getting some job experience, uh, I started off at Time Clock Plus working there for a little bit. And then from there, an opportunity at the city opened. So I went ahead and applied and uh, ended up getting in. And since then, I've been at uh, the city of San Angelo for about four years. My goals right now, of course, is uh, I think I'm primarily focused on family right now, just because uh, we have so much going on personally and we're excited for all that. And then uh, professionally, I uh, do see myself working with the city of San Angelo long-term. So I'm hoping to move up um, gradually over time. AC helped me get to those goals um, because I made those connections with classmates and professors. Um, it's funny because I work for the city, been there for, for a while and I, did, I didn't know I'd end up with some of the classmates I had in class. And so those connections really did help. I've enjoyed it.